Last week I reviewed this Amazon 4K camera. It appears to be a generic clone of more expensive brands. I'm really impressed by this camera. I got it for $130. It came with the lens hood and the microphone, two batteries, a remote, and it's actually 119 now. I'll pin it in the comments where I got it. I'm not an affiliate. I just want you guys to get a good camera and there's so many on Amazon so I want you guys to get the right one. So Epic Frog, he commented that I should try 1080p mode in 60 frames per second versus the 4K 30 frames per second because a lot of people don't see 4K and 60 frames per second is going to be a lot smoother. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, I'm filming this with the Kodak Pix Pro, $62 camera. You could find it at any Walmart. This is just acceptable quality to me. Acceptable picture quality for the price. The sound is okay, but when you turn the car on, it gets a crackling sound. So when I do audio videos, you know, more audio-centered videos, I use a GoPro and you're probably getting a lot of wind noise right now. So when I reviewed my 4K camera last week and reviewed the footage, I was most impressed by what the surroundings look like. Like the car looked the car looks good on this camera. But when you look at the surrounding areas, this camera is kind of blurry. The Amazon 4K camera, I was really impressed by how much nicer the trees looked and how much sharper surrounding, surrounding uh, area looked like versus this Kodak Pix Pro. The car looks okay, but the surrounding footage, when you really pay attention, is kind of blurry. Now I'm filming with the Amazon 4K camera, 4K mode, 30 frames per second. If you're just stopping by my channel for a camera review, my channel is an automotive channel so I feature my vehicles. I'm really happy with this camera because now I get to feature my videos with higher video quality. This is a 2015 Fiat 500 Abarth. It's the special edition Fiat 500. It's kind of a goofy looking car, which is why I like it a lot. I think the factory did a good job souping it up. Souping up the standard Fiat 500. And then, like I said, I'm most impressed by how much nicer the surroundings look on this camera versus the Kodak Pix Pro. This is 1080p mode, 60 frames per second. I tried out this setting in my last video, which was a driving video. And the picture looks the same as 4K. Like I was told, not everyone sees 4K. And this is 60 frames per second. So it does appear to be smoother. So this is the setting I'll be using. Like I said, I'm a car enthusiast. So as a car enthusiast, I have multiple cars. I would like to own five cars one day. This is what you call a daily driver fun manual transmission great on fuel I only drive to work 10 miles a day so I don't need a gigantic vehicle driving to work it's a little vehicle that looks cool it has scorpion badges everywhere nice chrome accent nice chrome accents everywhere Scorpions everywhere. Scorp 
scorpion, scorpion, scorpion on every rim. And one more on the back. And then you got one on the steering wheel. Like I said, it's a goofy styled car and that's why I like it. A barth on the side. And then you got little, uh, it, got, it has a stripe. Then it breaks up and then the little, the bars get smaller and smaller. So cool little details on this car. I wanted one of these things because it seems like the designers didn't take themselves too seriously and wanted to create a fun little car. And it's my daily driver, but like I said, I'm a car enthusiast and we're pretty fanatical about our rides. It took me a long time to upgrade to a nice camera. Sound has always taken a priority over picture for me, but this camera also has great sound, especially with this mic. I shouldn't be picking up any wind noise. I'll do a sound demo right now. I picked up a few new subscribers due to my review of this camera I did last week. So I wanted to do another review sharing the footage of 1080p 60 frames per second versus 4K 30 frames per second. I hope that helps you guys out in your decision to get this camera. I really like it a lot. I'm, I'm always reading your guys' comments so thank you for the 1080p 60 advice and the microphone advice to point it towards me. If you're subscribed to my channel due to the camera reviews or you're just stopping by because of this camera, I hope you guys stick around. I do a lot of van camping and I look forward to filming my van camping trips with this camera instead of this Pix Pro that I'm holding right now. Looking through this windshield the trees probably don't look very clear. The environment around me doesn't look very clear. But now I have this camera. One more review of this camera. Maybe tomorrow I should be getting the stabilizer that I ordered. I should have ordered the stabilizer. I should have got it in a package deal. I got this for 119 or 129 shipped. It's 119 now. But it came with the lens hood like I said and the microphone I should have got the hand stabilizer because that would have added ten dollars to the price when I did my walk around of my car last week it was kind of shaky so I said I should have got the stabilizer even though it looks kind of goofy it would have been an, an additional ten dollars so I ended up ordering it for an additional sixteen so I could have saved six dollars so watch out for that review Possibly tomorrow I should be getting that stabilizer today.